Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Aries. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for end of July, okay? This is for the end of July, so we're just going to see what comes up. What do we have for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising for the end of July? We got one card that fell out. Guards, let's just get one more. What do we have for Aries? Up, oh, there it is. <clears throat> wow, this one came out and flipped out. Younger man, dealings or relationship with a younger man. So you may be having, or you're dealing, you're dealing with a younger man here. Vine. Seek out information that will help you. Mmm. Cracked cup. Dissatisfaction with life. So there's something here that you are dissatisfied with. You need to seek out the information that can help you. Maybe there's a younger man that can help you in some way. Or there's a younger man that is dissatisfied with life. Maybe they're going to seek you out. You never know. What do, we, what do we have for Aries? What do we have for Aries? Ooh. Blank slate, clean slate, starting from scratch. So there's nothing here. So the slate is clean. So I wonder if you're, if you are in a period of darkness right now and you have the opportunity to create whatever you want, all right? You can create, you can create whatever you want. This is like a blank canvas, right? But right now you're in a period of darkness and, it, and you have an opportunity, okay? You have an opportunity right now, okay? Um, there's, some, there's nothing there, okay? This is starting from scratch in some situation. Mm. They have serious regrets for hurting you. Somebody has serious regrets for hurting you. Oh, a message is coming that you do not want to hear. Maybe it's about this younger man or it's from this younger man. There's a younger man here that is involved in your life, whether you see it or not. Um, there's going to be a message that is around this younger man that comes. And maybe, and you have to seek out the information. So maybe you, you're not aware of it yet. Hmm. Somebody is dissatisfied with their life. Could be you, could be your partner. What do we have for Aries? commitment something to do with a commitment there's going to be an upcoming get together in the near future six of cups six of cups is the past you see, there could be reawakened emotions of love there's also nostalgia here memories queen of pentacles reversed so queen of pentacles reversed I don't know. seven of pentacles Seven of Cups reversed. Four of Pentacles reversed. Somebody may be letting somebody go. Four of Pentacles. It could be this Queen of Pentacles in reverse. She may be, because that's in reverse. Somebody is letting somebody go. They, can't, they don't want to hold on to it anymore. They can't save it. It's unsavable. It's a dead end. 
temperance, devil, son. Now we have this younger, this younger man. This is the younger man right here. Page of Swords reverse. Could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. This is somebody that is uh, distrustful and has no moral conscience. Breaks the law. Doesn't care. Doesn't care who they hurt. Isn't very wise. Very immature. I feel like you're dealing with somebody that has no moral conscience that is doing something this person is doing something they don't they don't care they don't care this is somebody that is younger it is younger this could be a grandchild you know that kind of type of that big of an age difference I don't know if it's a grandchild or it's a child or somebody it's a big huge age difference like 20 years if you're a kid watching this this could be one of your friends. So say if you're a 20-year-old watching this reading, this could be one of your friends or a 25-year-old even. You know, this is somebody that is in their, I feel like they're in their 20s. This is somebody that is in their 20s that is, could be early 30s. This person um, has no moral conscience. I think that you're going to be caught off guard by a message that you don't want to hear. I feel like you're going to be attending some sort of get together in the near future where there's going to be a lot of reminiscing and I don't know what that means to you. But the Seven of Pentacles is about investing, something about commitment. It's like, I don't know if you're going to on vacation because the Four of Wands is a celebration or a get together or a party or whatever, doing something investing in something, um, going overboard. I wonder if somebody that you're dealing with is going overboard. They need to moderate. There's a moderation that is needed. Um, there is some sort of addictions here. Temperance right next to uh, the devil card. Those are addictions. Somebody is having a hard time dealing with their addiction. Oh, it could be a sexual addiction. could be drugs or alcohol or food or materialism or obsession or whatever anyhow there's some sort of addiction here um seeing very clearly what the best choice is somebody is going to be receiving some clarity there's there's something to do with children and there's something to do with innocence there's something to do with love as well and commitment we have somebody here that doesn't really want a commitment. They're not really committed. Um, there's a need. There's a need to choose wisely. You have other options. Seven of Cups is options, and, you, and it's in reverse. Seeing clearly what the best choice is. You may, it feels like there's a soulmate connection here with the Four of Wands next to the Six of Cups. Those are both soulmate cards. We have a soulmate connection here. We have somebody that, uh, it feels like they're losing. <laughs> they are. To another option. It feels like somebody is losing to another option because they're not investing. Because of that, Seven of Pentacles is about investing in this Queen of Pentacles reverse. Next to the Four of Pentacles reverse is letting something go. This isn't solid. It isn't real. It's not growing. But, there, but, but it's interesting because the last card out is the Sun card, which is growth, which is a new day. It's a new beginning. It is uh, happiness, extreme happiness. We have somebody here that is seeing the light. They're, they're, going, they're, headed, they're, they're headed to a happy place. They're going to a happy place. Um, there's been some sort of addictions that may have gotten out of control, which may have caused some sort of ending. Seeing very clearly what the best choice is. There's also, it feels like there, for some of you, there could be a reconciliation here. And I don't know if the reconciliation is with somebody from the past, like a past life. Because Six of Cups can be a past life situation, past life soulmate. There is soulmates here with the Four of Wands and Six of Cups. 
So I feel like we have an individual that has been holding on to something for the money. Queen of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, Devil, Materialism. You know, somebody has been holding on to somebody for the money, for financial reasons, or they've been, uh, yeah, because it was secure, but this is this is letting go. There's insecurity. It's, it's like not wanting to let go because of the money or because of the addiction, the obsession. But I feel like we have a new day. We have a breakthrough. We have a, we have a new beginning here. I know that's hard to explain. Um, I do believe that you are thinking about investing in something else or somebody that you're dealing with is thinking about investing in something else. I do see a new investment here. I also feel uh, with that temperance card, that's about, that is about cooperating. It's about going with the flow. It's about allowing and accepting change. Uh, there's a, there's a, there's a need, somebody, I feel like we have somebody here that has been resisting change. They have been refraining. They have been restraining themselves from investing in a new commitment or investing in their happiness. I feel like they've been held back by some sort of greed. There's greed here. But I feel like there's this like seeing the light because we have that clean slate and we have the sun card. Somebody's going to be seeing the light. It's like a light bulb moment. Um, Queen of Pentacles reverse is unstable, insecure. We have somebody here that is very uh, money hungry, very, very greedy, very selfish. Oh, very focused on money. We have somebody here that is too focused on their money. Ego. There's ego here. There's ego. There's pride. There's lust. There's greed. There's materialism that is getting in the way of happiness. Imagine that. So I believe that there is a message is coming that you don't want to hear. Somebody, I think that, uh, I don't know if this has to do with a child or somebody from your past, there is some sort of message that is coming. You're not gonna like it. You are not like, they're letting go. They're letting go. And I'm not sure if they have went overboard. This could be like a, an, an addiction, you know, that's gone overboard, you know. A choice is being made, definitely with the Seven of Cups reversed. A choice is, is being made. Somebody is making a choice. The, we have somebody here that is in a uh, toxic situation right now. Right now. With the Devil card, this is toxic. It is unhealthy. This is unhealthy behavior. They are, they have been undecisive about what they want or indecisive with the Seven of Cups. They've been maybe in a state of illusion. There's a lot of materialism here, if I didn't already say that. There is materialism. We have somebody here that is letting greed and selfishness get in the way of their happiness. But anyhow, um, Queen of Pentacles reversed is bad housekeeping not very motherly, not stable, not, not, not secure, lazy, stubborn, greedy. We, with, I'm looking at the four of pentacles reverse. We have a greedy, lazy, stubborn person that doesn't want to put in the effort, doesn't want commitment, or just wants the money. Could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Could be a Sagittarius. We have Leo, Sagittarius. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Somebody is making another choice. They're, they know what they need to do and they're going to do it. They've been in a state of illusion and it feels like they have chosen to do something that 
is wrong, okay? It feels like we have somebody here that is doing something that they know is wrong, but they don't have any more. They can't stop themselves because of greed or an addiction or an obsession or an infatuation or something like that. I don't feel like it's you. I feel like it's somebody that you're dealing with. It's somebody that you cannot trust. I feel like you're going to receive some information about a person um, and it's going to hurt. It is really, 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 really going to hurt. This is somebody that is unstable, okay? They are unstable. They, if this person acts like a child as well, they, they have a, a child's mentality, unfortunately. Um, Somebody that you are dealing with or yourself is, is going to be deciding, a decision is being made with the Seven of Cups reversed, to start over with a clean slate. They're going to be just wiping the slate clean, starting over from scratch. I feel like you're going to receive some information that uh, you don't want to hear um, about this person, but it's almost like it's too late. I feel like there's a relocation on the horizon with the Seven of Pentacles. I also feel like something that started, that was plant seeds that were planted a long time ago are coming to fruition now. It's time. It, maybe it's time for you to commit to a new life because this is the timing is the Temperance card. The commitment is the Four of Wands and the Seven of Pentacles is going someplace else. This is a dead end. There's there's no nurturing here. There's no there's no growth. It's over. This is it. It's over. Something is ending. There's something that is ending and I feel like you're going to be going down a new path. But there's going to be some sort of reminiscing and seeing very very clearly. You know, there's a lot of memories here. There's nostalgia. There's there's um thinking a lot, thinking about everything that has happened. I feel in seeing very clearly what the best choice is, what the best option is. I feel like there's some sort of enlightenment as well. This is, about, this is definitely about happiness with the sun card. That is happiness. We definitely have something to do with children here as well. We may have a, a female here that doesn't like children, doesn't like your children. doesn't have to be a female, could also be a man, but I feel like there's something to do with children here that is causing problems. There's a need to uh, break free from some sort of toxic environment or toxicity with the devil card. We have somebody here that is letting greed and lust and materialism get in the way of their happiness, and I feel like there's a disaster ahead. Somebody is making another choice. They have been in an unhealthy situation and they're in there. I feel like there's a decision that is being made to focus on, you know, the light. This is like heading towards the light. This, the sun card is the light. This is a warm place. This is yes. This is beautiful. It's a beautiful new beginning. Opening up. It's time to relax. It's time to let go. Maybe. Maybe some of you are working too hard. Maybe you're dealing with somebody that is really, really lazy and you have to do all the work. I don't know, something like that. I feel like there's a loss, though, with the Queen of Pentacles reversed and the Four of Pentacles reversed that is letting go. Somebody is letting go. They're letting go of something that they were holding on to because there's no growth. Nothing's growing. They're choosing another option. It's interesting because when I started this, before I started this reading, I was sitting here before I turned the camera on and I heard, you snooze, you lose. You snooze, you lose. So I don't know what that means. Uh, you probably do. 
So anyhow, um, I believe that somebody is exchanging something lesser for something better with the temperance card. I do feel like you are going to need to accept something because temperance comes after death. You're going to have to accept an ending. You may have to commit yourself to a new beginning. The commitment is mirroring the sun card. Okay, that so there's a there's a there's a need to commit yourself to happiness, commit yourself to a better life, to you know, go in the direction that is gonna make you happy, but it will require you to let go of something that you are holding on to for I don't know, stability reasons. Um I feel as though a choice is definitely being made to release and invest in something else. This isn't healthy at all. And in order to get healthy, you have to sever ties with whatever that is because the devil is about severing ties, is about breaking free before things get worse. Okay, so I don't know how that resonates with you, but I also feel like there's a child here. I don't know if it's your child or it's a grandchild or who it is. There is a child. There could be two children here because we have two children here. We have children here that are... I don't know, it feels like they're not liked by the wife. I could be wrong, but I feel like that's what it is. Or the mother, or the stepmother, or something like that. There could also be a reconciliation between children. However that resonates, I don't know. Um, I feel like there's... there's uh, I feel like there's a message that's coming that you don't want to hear that is going to, I don't know if there's going to be some tears. There could definitely be some tears that are shed. We have somebody here that is going overboard. They cannot control their addiction, whether their addiction is drugs, alcohol, sex, whatever. And they are going to regret whatever it is that they do. They have serious regrets for hurting you. So, um... You will be attending some sort of get-together in the near future where there will be, um, I don't know, probably a lot of reminiscing about whatever this is. Um, six of Cups, reminiscing about the past. Seeing very, very clearly that this is toxic, it's unhealthy. I mean, that, that's, that's that lineup right there. I also feel like there could be a reconciliation with somebody from the past. It's a past life connection. But I also feel there's insecurities here. There's insecurities getting in the way of happiness. You know, so I don't know if somebody is just insecure. You know, they're feeling like they're inadequate and they're afraid to open up. Because, I don't know, maybe because of, the, of fear. I mean, devil is ego. Ego is fear. Pride. Anyhow, I do believe that there is going to be a change. There's a new investment that is coming. I also feel like uh, we have somebody here that um, is really, really, really contemplating where their happiness lies. You know, they're thinking about what they should invest in. Should I invest in this? They're thinking about commitment, maybe even marriage, because the Four of Wands is a marriage card. They're thinking about love, and they're thinking about making a change, and they probably are going to, you know, see something very clearly that causes them to open up and go in a new direction, go towards the light, go towards the happiness. We do have a breakthrough. We have a new beginning here with the sun card. This is extreme happiness. But before that is the devil. So the devil is, you know, toxic behavior. It is. It's a need to break free from something that is toxic to have that happiness. And that's going to take uh, making a difficult choice. All right, but I feel like the universe is going to bring you some sort of messenger. I feel like there's a message that is coming that is going to help you to see the best choice. It's going to there's some sort of information, the message coming that you don't want to hear. You know, that's going to help you to make that choice. 
whatever the choice is. The main card in the middle is the Seven of Cups reversed. That is seeing very clearly what the best choice is. Coming out of illusion, coming out of fantasy, seeing very, very clearly that something is toxic and unhealthy. All right, so you are going to see something that you don't want to see, or you're going to hear something that you don't want to hear. Um, but it allows you to start with a clean slate and get the happiness that you need. And I feel like you've been sacrificing yourself. We don't have the hangman here, but we should. I feel like you've been sacrificing yourself. I feel like you're dealing with a very greedy, selfish individual as well. This is, I don't know if it's a mother or if it's a wife or it's a girlfriend or um, who it is, but whoever this person is, this is like a very selfish, greedy, lazy individual who wants all the money. Doesn't really care for the kids. Good luck. <laughs> 